Hey guys, Trigger John coming to you with another Waking Chaos Air video. Today's video, what we're going to be talking about is going to be the Void Tower and the fact that we have, in fact, completed it. As you can see here, we do have Mythic 1 ready to go. We did complete it. I did it on stream. Uh, stay tuned, watch the rest of the video. We're going to talk about the team that I used. I'm going to show you my exact run. Uh, it was an interesting run, uh, so you definitely want to check it out. I gotta talk about what my strategy was, uh, the different strategies in the Void Tower for those of you who are struggling. I think I talked about about four or five different strategies in this video. Uh, and then afterwards, at the very end of the video, I do have also some summons. We went ahead and we celebrated. We pulled some shards and well, you know how it goes when I pull shards. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Definitely stay tuned, watch the rest of the video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Here's what we're gonna do. We're on floor 100. I'm not sure. We're, we're gonna try two, one of two things. Let's start off with the nuke team. Let's try the nuke team. Let's try to nuke it out. I've got several different possibilities here for nuking. This is gonna be a lot of fire damage needed here with the Verimethasia and Savannah. I'm not too worried about the Joseph, even though he is gonna be a pain. So let's just go Avera. Uh, I need Valeria, but right now my Valeria is missing two pieces of gear because they're on Cyrus. So let's go grab those. Those are going to be an Avarice sets pieces. Um, let's go grab them from there and also from right here. This at least will get me in the ballpark for her kit. I think last on the last 100, I used Cyrus. Uh, so this may also need me to take out Avera and put Cyrus in. I'm not sure yet. But for right now, let's try this. And then let's bring in Imogen. Imogen is here for the clutch uh, strips. Uh, she is the best stripper in the game, in my opinion. And no, I do not mean that kind of stripper. All right, let's go. Let's run it. Let's run it. Okay. We got three, three floors, three floors. I'm also doing this live on Twitch at the moment as well. Um, for those of you who do not know, I did announce it that I was going to be doing it on Twitch today uh, just for funsies. And uh, that's what we do anyways, you know, content, whatnot. Uh, so far, everyone has trolled me pretty hard. Um, Voyager fan, I'm talking to mainly you. That's right. I'm calling you out in the middle of a YouTube video. In the middle of a YouTube video, you're getting called out. Because um, this is the first attempt. We're going to do it live. We're doing literally doing it live right now. All right, so, so far, so good. All right, come on. Okay, we got a stun. We're really, I'm I'm really relying heavily on Imogen for those stuns. So far, we're two out of two, which is pretty good as far as odds go. The crappy part is these guys are strong element against Valeria, which means we may have to RNG this maybe once, if not twice, because of that RNG. Uh, we're just not going to get lucky here and be able to like one shot these guys, right? So they're going to target Valeria. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do an A2, maybe to keep her healed up, but it's going to be hard because it's going to be between Valeria and uh, Brand that they're going to target. So this may not work quite as planned, but I am going to focus on one minion over here more than the other. So that way, hopefully we can get a kill with Valeria. And then that will allow her to go again. And then we can immediately get her... Um, her ability up again nice so we got three stuns there so everyone is stunned other than one like i was just saying if we got a kill valeria gets to go again which we did this will allow me to get two more kills which will, will replenish her hp by quite a bit this one's stunned we got good good control right there perfect so far so good on the first attempt with the nuking team uh we'll see how this goes i'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go like I said, last time it didn't work the greatest. I had to actually bring in, instead of Avera, I had to bring in Cyrus. So we may have to do the same thing here. But luckily on this rotation, we don't have this. The stuns are not as big of an issue as they were on the last one. Last time I had to bring in Tia because uh, you had to have a control effect, right? You had to have Lunar Melissa. You had to have some sort of control effect. This one, we don't have that. And I have a stripper and I can put defensive down on everybody, which is going to help out tremendously. So now you will see, I will use Imogen. She's going to immediately strip because her focus. Hopefully she gets some stuns. We did get three out of four stuns. That's perfect. I am going to go ahead and rage up 
Valeria, she's guaranteed damage at this point. We're going to try to take out Methasia. As long as we kill Methasia and we take out Avera before a Savannah, then it's, it's super easy. If we don't do it in that route, it gets a little harder. It does get a little harder. Um, Joseph plays some, some, some innate ability stuff. That's not cool. Okay. So it looks like we killed Savannah, but that was perfect because it went on Joseph. So now we just need to, we need to end Methasia. Okay, perfect. We got a stun right off the gate. Let's see, maybe we can stun the Joseph. Never mind. We're just going to kill the Joseph. And then now we're going to go ahead and we're going to come in here with the Avera. Uh oh, I think this may be, I, I dare, dare I say it? Dare I say it? Is this a first time clear on Void Tower 100? One try? First try? Uh oh, come on maybe i maybe i spoke a little too soon nope nope so far so good we got a top there perfect i think this is gonna be 100 down i think we just cleared uh void tower hard guys that was literally this is the only one out of uh above 90 that's been a first time clear i've had to redo a couple of them twice for rng uh this was the first one we had good rng on that's perfect if you guys saw my other video with me and veiled shot doing level 60 with all of the greatest gear it was a struggle this one we had it dialed in. So by this time, Boy Tower Hard 100, and we finally have the rotation dialed in. Um, GG, we beat Boy Tower 100, let's go. All right, sweet, that's awesome. It's done, it's done. We may actually try to push Mythic this season, guys. We may try to push Mythic. Uh, this has been a very interesting one. So here we go. The new buff is plus 70% enemy resistance. So now my stuns are even more useless. Ooh. Grants the enemy power block at the beginning of each. Well, it was already 70%. Never mind. I thought that was an additional. It's not. The third buff. The third. Oh, God. Grants the enemy power block at the beginning of each round. The power block is not destroyed at the end of the round. Applies a stackable stun. Uh-oh. So now we're getting into the stun mechanic from Last Void Tower. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, we may try it. We may try it. Stay tuned. Uh, I may do an update with uh, more content talking about it. But first, let's go ahead. Let's go talk about the team that I just used because I'm going to probably strip them and take them apart. So let's go talk about them. Let's talk about the strategy really, really quickly. Um, and then we'll probably do some quick summons for... I, I told chat we were going to do some summons because we got a hype train at the beginning of, this, of the stream. And we just beat Void Tower Hard 100. I think it only is fitting that we do something sketchy, like, you know, summon some shards before a new character drops on Thursday. Eh, not the smartest of ideas, but you know what? You give the people what they want. You give the people what they want. All right, so let's talk about the two teams that I use for Void Tower Hard, okay? First team. The team you just saw, I used for 90% of the Void Tower, and this was Brand, Avera, Imogen, Imogen was key here. Brandon, Imogen were really key here. The two DPS is really up to you. And Valeria, that was it. Those four hard carried me through most of Void Tower. Now, I did have another comp that was the slow, slow comp. It was the slow, true, and steady. Uh, obviously, these comps are not free to play friendly. I do apologize, but this is the in game content. So sometimes you just don't get lucky with the in game uh, free to play champions right i'm sure this could be done it'd be a lot harder uh I, i'm not saying that you can't do this as a free to play because you can right i think build shot has done this pretty much free to play other than what i ruined on his account a little bit by giving him some do donations for content um but honestly guys like it it's not the end of the world if you can't do in game as a free to play it takes time the game's only been out since last thanksgiving we're not even a year old yet it's okay if you can't complete this type of content. That was floor 100. Not that easy. But let's talk about the stats I used. So Brand here. He has a revival set on. 26k HP. 2000 defense. I gave him 78 focus. Which sucks because he really needs a little bit more. Right? So they already get a buff of plus 70% resistance. So he technically only has 8% focus on him. So that was a little rough. So he was only really taunting the off elements. Really, his focus should be more like a 120, 130, and he would be doing a lot. But the thing to note here is his speed. He is set 215, and he is always first in the rotation. Okay, so we, we did a lot of speed tuning. Next up, we have Imogen. So basically, we would use Brand's ability here for his ultimate, his defense up, attack up, right? 
we would bring in Imogen. What Imogen does is she is in a rebel set, which allows her to stun, right? Rebel set needs focus, so she has a lot of focus. She's at 135 focus, guaranteed crit rate because she does do joint attacks every single time. She did a lot of stuns with those joint attacks. That's why she's in a rebel set. The CC was insane. If you saw the very fir first part of this video, you saw Imogen come in there and literally stun the entire first wave, most of the second wave, and that last wave was just clutch stuns, right? They didn't even get a chance to go. Uh, this is all because of Imogen and the Rebel set. That is how po powerful she is. Definitely do not sleep on her. Go watch my video on Imogen. Uh, we also have stats wise, she's at 11K HP, 1K defense. This is on purpose uh, because we had to have her go fast. She had to go right after Brand. She is always gonna have the defensive up and attack up, and she never really took a lot, whole lot of damage other than if she did not CC the waves. Then she would take a little bit of damage, but she is dark element, so she's usually not a target, so that's fine. But the one thing to note here is the focus is at 135. Any focus above 125, 130 is really required for Void Tower Hard to always land your debuffs. Next on the rotation, and in order, we're going in speed, speed to order, just so you're aware, um, is actually Valeria. Now, Valeria and Avera are pretty much interchangeable as far as speed goes. It's really however, whatever route you want to go. If you want to go Avera first or Valeria, it doesn't matter. The thing to note here is they're both AoE nukers, okay? I was very partial to Valeria because of her ultimate here, grants a bonus turn upon the defeat of an enemy. This a lot of times would allow me to nuke, hopefully kill a character, and then come back in and regain health with this other AoE. That would also stack with the Avarice set. The Avarice set is amazing. It gives you plus 50% of the damage, which makes you hit super, super hard, right? Uh, her stats aren't, I mean, they're not the greatest, but they're not worse. They're not bad, right? We're at 3000 attack, speed's 173. Note the speed, third in the rotation. Crit rate is above 100, crit damage is 282. I did have a couple of times where that build was about 300%. It does make a difference the more crit damage you give her. Avarice set just scales even higher. So definitely keep that in mind, okay? Now, other thing to note is obviously all these characters' glyphs are done. Their abilities are done. Just like I said, go back to the basics. Get these things done on your characters if you want to be able to easily progress in the game. It makes a difference. You want to make sure you do it. All right, next up we have is Avera. Like I said, it doesn't matter really if you switch out Avera or for Valeria or Hydrissia works well or Sierra. All three, all four of them are great options. They all had about the same amount of stats, so definitely keep that in mind. But notice that Avera again is an Avera set, okay? Now, info, more damage. She does the most damage on this comp. She's at 3,300 attack. Speed is 168, still kind of fast. These guys are all in speed boots. You need to make sure they all go in order first, so that way they don't get immediately destroyed by the last wave. Crit rate is 107, that's a little high. I'd like to get that knocked down, but the crit damage is at 317, so I'm not gonna argue, right? I'm not gonna argue with 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 that. It's just, I don't know that you can't argue with that, right? That's a pretty good amount of crit damage with that speed, uh, in my opinion, especially when with over crit rate. Yeah, like I'm, I'm good with it. HP defense is great as well. Now, one other thing to note, I think I do have, I might have my CR down here built. Um, I think I was just swapping pieces out between her and Valeria on swapping them in and out. Yes, I did. Um, they do about the same amount of damage. Ciara was really helpful because sometimes you really, really, really needed this, uh, this proc right here, which is this extra attack. This extra attack would do a massive amount of damage. You'll see that in a video with, that I posted within a day or two with me and Dan, uh, Dan Halliman, where I was talking about using uh, Ciara in the new content. Uh, the other the other one I swapped out a lot for was Cyrus. Uh, let's show Cyrus here. She is an amazing damage dealer. She was really, really good to have for targeting those Methasias. Uh, because of this ultimate right here, it makes it super, super easy to target the Methasias. And because of her passive right here, which allows her to hit multiple targets, that's very, very helpful when doing the waves. So what would happen is you would do wave one, wave two, or even just wave one. And by the time you get to that last wave, she was hitting multiple targets, which is allowing her to do a lot more damage overall on everybody. All right, the last one we're gonna talk about before we talk about the slow comp is gonna be uh, Tia, the unsung hero. I know a lot of people sleep on Tia. She was the MVP of last Void Tower. I still was able to bring her in for a lot of success on this Void Tower. I had to tune her a little bit. She did, she was key in a couple of comps where it went brand Tia, or sorry, it went brand uh, Imogen, 
and then Tia and Avera. So she was super impactful to have on my account as well, because like he, like I've explained before in other videos, Frozen is amazing debuff to have. It allows the target to take a lot more damage. And sometimes that was needed, especially if Imogen was unable to clear the buffs because Imogen seems to only debuff the latest uh, buff placed. So for example, if you're going against a brand, it would always strip the shield that brand put up, not the damage mitigation buff that they had on them. So I would use Tia to offset that because then that would make them take 50% more damage. So then they'd have defensive down with the nuke and the frozen was essentially just zero out that damage mitigation. So she was an unsung hero. So definitely keep her in mind as well when you're building these comps. Last one we're gonna talk about and we're gonna go very quickly on this one is gonna be Blackhorn brand, brand the Brilliant and Hakron. Now this is the most disgusting slowest void tower comp possible that i had however it was the most reliable i've seen a lot of people who have taken brand brand hakron methasia rodira or not rodira yeah rodira some sort of healer hakron and even a charles because charles is once again op i put him in a divine set so that way he comes back and he keeps applying that taunt on everybody um, that slow comp is probably the most free to play friendly out there. You do not have to use like my friend, my, uh, my, my brand, the brilliant. That's totally fine. This is a little broken. You can use uh, Marion shadow blood as well as a good alternate. Basically the only thing you're looking for here is you're really looking for that enemy max HP. Uh, it's a little harder. I do recommend you build a Charles for teams that have like a Connor or teams that have a Methasia, put a lot of focus on them because what happens is, is it's really hard to out damage their heals with this slow comp, right? It is possible, but you do have a 50 turn limit. So if you bring in someone like Charles, that allows you to at least always proc the A1 taunt. So that way they never heal up. It takes a long time, you take out the healer and then you go back to auto mode and you allow the rest of the battle to play out. That's always an option. Uh, it pretty much works for everyone. I think even Veiled Shot, if you go check out our boy Veiled Shot, I think he even has a video where he talked about he used only the slow comp for, I think, all this Void Tower. So definitely go check him out as well if you're curious. I'm just telling you what I use and from personal experience because, unfortunately, we can't rerun a lot of this content. So I, I only get to explain to you guys and tell you guys what I saw and how I feel that this went for me. But in case you're curious, Brand the Brilliant, I'd had him in two builds. He was in two builds. At first, he was in a all damage build. And then he died a few times and it was annoying. So then I put him in a stall build. I put him in all HP. I made him super tanky. His stats were just insane. He was at like 25K HP, 3K defense, no crit rate, no, no crit damage. He was just a literally there for his enemy max HP skill. I did just swap him to crit rate, crit damage, and HP on this last go around because I needed him for floor 99. I could not beat floor 99 without Brandon Brilliant. I had to use the slow comp. I could have used Marion Shadow Blood. I could have brought in Charles. It would have been fine. But what happened was, is I, it was just it was too slow. So I had to bring in Brandon Brilliant, and I had to switch him up, make him do more damage. Uh, as far as the other characters go, I'm not going to go into too much detail about Brand. Go watch my Brand Spotlight video. You'll see how to gear him. Obviously, Blackhorn. You want to put a lot of HP on Hakrin. He's there for the defense as well as that attack or that HP up on the. Uh, ultimate ability you guys are aware of this you guys know that you need to put a lot of defense a lot of hp on these characters if you're going to be running the void tower hard uh this is content that's not easy so i'm sure you guys are all very very aware of this and you get frustrated and you get stuck just take a step back take a breather look at your gear and just make sure you're trying to optimize it the most as you can this content is not for the faint of heart it is harder you will have to rip apart some characters and build this i completely destroyed my ash team to do Void Tower Hard. Now that Void Tower Hard is done, I'm gonna play a little bit in Mythic and then I'm gonna say, screw it. I'm gonna take take apart my champions again. I'm gonna go back to farming Ash, but I have to rebuild my Nathalia and a couple other characters that I had to use for this composition. So don't be alarmed that you can't do this content. It's not the end of the world. Ask for help. All of us content creators, we're always more than welcome to help you. I'm pretty sure every single one of us do some sort of account takeover, whether it's paid, free, if you watch us on Twitch, whatever the case may be. Come ask for help if you need it. Uh, we will always answer your questions. You always more than welcome to join my Discord, the, the legit Discord. Links are down below. Or other content creators' Discords. We are always 
always more than welcome to help you guys that's what we're here for um because we all love to do this like those that you see post videos on waking chaos era there ain't one of them that's out there doing this for the money because honestly the money's not there not yet so definitely ask questions we love to help you out hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you yourself are able to beat void tower one hard 100 this is probably one of the easier rotations so definitely keep that in mind feel free to ask help it's early you got plenty of time to go ahead and farm some gear and get it going so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace all right so you guys didn't think i forgot about this did you i know you guys i know you guys thought that was in the video thanks for sticking around those that those that made it to the end you got to see the special summons the special sauce as we like to call it we didn't forget about it chat reminded me we have 30 shards to do in honor of beating void tower 100 we are gonna pull 30 shards the only champions i am looking for right now and i'm gonna throw it out there okay the only champions i am looking for is i need a hector i could use a god fairy that'd be nice some good dupes like if i can get a ciara that'd be dope if i can get an imogen uh a crazy zog a crazed rock i mean or sorry uh yeah crazy zog i already have corrupt rock if i can get some doubles here like that would be really helpful i'm just throwing it out there i'm just throwing it out there before we do the summons that way to will it into existence we currently do not know where pity is on the account as you see here we say zero so we have 30 so if i'm right at 70 this puts me right at the end of pity so let's go see what we get let's roll a 10 this is on honor and congratulations of beating the void tower 100 i think we have one more shard also lurking in that tower let's go see all right well we got okay okay this is fine um i want to build him out anyways for uh, to try him on another another comp come on we got 20 more uh, let's go lego lego give me a light dark lego okay that wasn't light dark lego you did not listen very well uh wicked chaos era i'm gonna need you to listen to me i know you hate me okay i know you hate me i know you don't like me playing the game we are not on pity unfortunately so this temple isn't gonna go as guaranteed as i thought it might that's okay it's all right I, and are oh, you gotta be kidding me we literally end on an elite tax you gotta kid you gotta be kidding me right now that is a rip i don't know i don't i don't care who you are that's a rip that's de that's depressing that's depressing but it's okay we get to collect the guaranteed lego Ar arcana and the foodie it's all right it's okay all we're doing is we're holding that blue tax um we're holding that blue tax for the next summons that next summon we're gonna pull it and it's just gonna be gg we win so that's all right we can end on this thank you for staying and watching the rest of the video i appreciate you don't forget to like and subscribe now peace